Tryna come up with a different plan I be lurking when I'm searching up your Instagram I don't wanna see you with a different man And now I gotta prep for shit I didn't plan Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Brad Babe Ash. Welcome to another video. If you've never seen me before, hey, my name is Ashley. I am a lifestyle vlogger. Today, I'm going to be answering fitness questions that I received through my Instagram. So if you want to go check that out, the username is here on the screen. It's also linked down below and on my YouTube profile. So let's get started with the questions. How often do you work out? I work out at least three times a week. That's what I always try to do. Sometimes it's just two. That leads us to our following question that says, how often do you rest? I rest four days a week. I don't work out on the weekend unless I really feel like I need to work out and I want to work out. Do you still get sore? Of course I do. Um, It doesn't matter how long you've been at the gym. Even if you add reps or weight you will continue to get sore throughout your fitness journey so to answer your question yes i do get sore moving on is how do you measure your progress i measure it using three different techniques and that's obviously prs like personal records um whether that be velocity weight um reps and my form like i always just try to keep those keep improving those and i also do it by how my clothes is fitting whether that be jeans or pants or sweats or how my uh yoga shorts feel and look on me and i use videos and pictures to help me document that and I also like to track my progress by how consistent I am because I know that if I continue to go to the gym, I'm going to get something out of it, whether that be mentally or for my physical well-being. So that's how I track my progress. Next question is, how do you stay motivated? Motivation. That's a big topic. I stay motivated because I listen to music. My favorite artist to listen to at the gym is Lil Baby. Carol G and Tornillo or Santa Fe Clan. Like, I like their type of vibes for the gym because their lyrics really gets me going and it's relatable. So it makes me want to improve myself while I'm there. Moving on to the next question. Um, somebody asked me about the supplements I consume. Let's start off with pre-workouts. For pre-workouts, I recommend the brand Litz. It is a caffeine concentrate, so you can either mix it with water or just dry scoop, which is how I consume it, and then just chase it with water. The second drink that I would recommend is Celsius, and the third one is Ghost. Celsius and Ghost, I like to drink those for like lighter caffeine intake. But if you really need to go intense for like leg day or pull-ups, I would recommend that lit supplement. Moving on, our protein powders. This is the one I use, Serious Mass Gainer, and this is because it has 1,260 calories in one scoop, and it has 15 grams of protein in each scoop as well. So I try to consume at least two scoops daily, but sometimes that isn't possible. Um, this bag cost about $70. I purchased it at GNC, so if you guys are interested, um, I recommend the vanilla flavor because it's easy to mix with fruit and peanut butter and things like that. But for me, I just mix it into water, shake it up, and drink it. Um... Moving on, somebody asked about my gym bag and what I carry in there. So I am going to give you guys a little glimpse of what's in my gym bag. Um, this is my gym bag. When I open it, we come to find some gym gloves. This is an essential, especially if you're a beginner because you want to avoid these calluses on your hands that you get from gripping on metal bars and weights and dumbbells and all that the next thing that i have in my bag is this pull-ups resistant band it helps support your weight 
and you just wrap this around um, a pull-up bar and you put your feet right here I'm gonna go ahead and insert an example right here but this is very helpful for that upper strength and that's how I use those for pull-ups I have this resistant band I'm gonna show an example of how I use these this is it right here and I also have another intensity I believe this one is lighter shout out to my personal trainer Isaac for getting me those I have hand sanitizer for anytime that I'm done using a machine and I just need to clean my hands I have this jump rope for a warm-up especially on cardio days or whenever I consume pre-workouts I like to do jump roping because it makes it kick in like this I have these things that I don't know what they're called and like I don't know the specific name but I wrap these around my ankles and I connect these to the weights and these help me do my kickbacks and these are very um, useful because sometimes they won't be there like sometimes people take them I do carry like sports bras or socks in here just in case I get off work and I want to work out um, of course deodorant and lotion also those are my essentials moving on uh, somebody wanted to know about my personal trainer and my experience with that so let's sit down for a minute because I do want to get in detail about this because they have so many benefits and I definitely would recommend it my personal trainer texts my phone checking in my nutrition if i worked out um the set time that we have scheduled for our workout when i first encounter my personal trainer he tells me what we're gonna do the plan the workouts and we just get started if you want to check my personal trainer out his name is isaac his profile is here on the screen this is how we've tracked our progress this is a video of me doing pull-ups and this is also a video of me attempting pull-ups again and actually being successful i recommend a personal trainer because it keeps you disciplined you get to learn fun creative workouts you have somebody to watch your back when you lift heavy weights it gives you that confidence boost that you're going to be able to and even if you're not it you feel good to take on a challenge also um, it helps you with your mental health there were days where i didn't want to work out and i just fell down and my personal trainer would help me get mentally stable i work out for about an hour and a half that's what i try to go for um there's days where i will go two times to the gym just because i need mental clarity and one for the muscles the other one for the mental health um i really hope that helped let's move on to the next question it says how do you make content at the gym um i use a tripod and i use my phone it is a little bit nerve-wracking or kind of like scary i want to say because every time i go into the gym and i set up my tripod in my setup i kind of feel like i get a lot more attention because people are kind of invested in what you're doing um but you know i would just say just go for it don't be nervous or scared to record yourself in a gym you know you might end up on somebody's for you page on somebody's reels um page and they get motivated from you so definitely you don't know who you're gonna reach with the content that you're making so i would definitely say go for it because at the end of the day you can be that person that motivates somebody to start their fitness journey moving on it says do you meal prep i've never meal prepped actually yes i have i did it once i have a video on my instagram if you guys want to go check it out it's down below it's been a few months i did start a subscription with a brand called factor and they would send me 
fresh, not frozen uh, meal preps where I just place them into an oven or a microwave and I would eat them and they were actually really tasteful. I had my siblings try them and they liked them. I do want to clear up that none of the products or brands that I mentioned in this video are sponsored. I should have said that at the beginning, but I forgot. Um, That's pretty much all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys till the next time. And don't forget to follow my socials. Bye, guys.